educator and I'm delighted um, to be able to speak to you about the idea of supporting Dementia Alliance in this really important time. I've been involved, I usually say 112 years, um, but it's actually been, best we can tell, about 1988, maybe 1989. I started as a volunteer and moved into um, a consulting um, contractor role. And I have seen changes. I have seen changes in names. I've seen changes in buildings and locations. People have come and gone. Technology, um, some decisions that worked incredibly well and some decisions that were, ooh, let's say, learning experience. Experiences. Um, but overall, this has been a very fluid, dynamic, responsive organization um, that's responded to what we're learning about dementia and about being an effective care partner with a person living with dementia. And so we've seen a lot of changes, but I'll be honest with you, I have never seen changes like I've seen in the past six months. Changes related to COVID. It's changed individuals. It's changed Families, communities, states, countries, the whole world has changed. Some people have changed reluctantly and some people have changed with a tremendous amount of grace. And Dementia Alliance has been an organization that has changed with a tremendous amount of grace. But dementia hasn't changed and people living with dementia haven't changed and they can't change because what's going on in their brain, that prefrontal cortex, that part of the brain that's logical and rational, isn't in charge anymore. That's not the part that's really guiding the person. What's guiding the person is the more basic brain, which is driven by nail needs. So people living with dementia aren't able to adapt or to change to the new life with COVID and, and that means that their care partners are struggling. So the very hardest time um, to make change is in a time of crisis. Um, the hardest time to be flexible and adapt is during times of crisis. And so in this time when we're not allowed to meet in support groups, um, Dementia Alliance has responded by offering online support groups. But beyond that, working with facilitators of support groups to make it work for their groups, doing one-on-one -on -one consultations or helping facilitators do online support groups, new skills for everybody. We're not allowed to get together anymore for education. Dementia Alliance has responded um, by doing online conferences and online training and allowing me to do some videos that they post on the website. Um, care partners are now 24 hours um, and Dementia Alliance of North Carolina has responded and they've responded by providing support and options and reaching out to help people make it through these times. Um, the reality is most of us are getting used to doing more with less. I'm a nurse. You know, we are the people who do more with less. We, we've been doing that for, for decades and generations and we will continue to do more with less. Dementia Alliance, doing more with less, um, but it's getting hard. And so I'm asking you to do your part. Sorry. <laughs> um, they're responding. And now I'm asking you to respond. So respond by making a contribution or a donation. Respond by making a bid. Respond by staying active on their social media sites um, and encouraging others to support so they can continue to respond to help people living with dementia in North Carolina, to help their care partners, to help families, and to help all of us who care about people living with dementia.